another Tea Party Tuesday, where it may be a Tuesday, but in my world, it's always a tea party. And we have a super awesome guest today. She is a three-peat designer in the Her Universe fashion show. Please help me welcome Harmony Liker. Hi. Harmony, you are so dressed for the occasion. Thank you for coming today. Well, I, I heard that Kate Middleton's gonna be here, so I wanted to have my jewels on. Okay, I'm so sorry. She was so excited to come and meet you because you guys share a mutual love of photography. Mm -hmm. And you know, obviously Kate takes a lot of her own pictures, but you know, she was kind of like intimidated a little bit because not only are you a designer, you're a sculptor, you're an artist, you do amazing embroidery, and she wanted to brush up on her skills. So she's taking a couple of sewing classes and sculpting classes, and then she wants to have a rain check on her tea party. Okay, don't need that. <laughs> well, you look beautiful with or without the Thank tiara. <laughs> and I have a super fun tea party for us planned. So I have an M&M taste test for us today. All right, let's try the first one. Mm. Peanut butter? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's peanut butter. Mm -hmm. I've had the peanut butter ones before. Those are really good. They're my favorites. Okay. So far. Let's see. I'm gonna go with the big one. Mmm, crunchy. Pretzel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's pretzel buns. Little salty, little, little sweet. So Harmony, let's get down to business because I've been fascinated with you ever <laughs> since the first fashion show. So you um, were in year two of mm -hmm. the fashion show. Yep. And literally you captured my heart <laughs> because you truly <laughs> understood what geek couture was. But then I got to know you the third year and then my mind exploded because <laughs> you do everything. Yeah. You do design, sewing, sculpting, photography. Um, you travel the world. You make ball gowns. You make cosplay bounding. You do all sorts of things. Tell us about your journey. <laughs> like, how did you even get here to do all these awesome things? I got out of high school and I pretty much immediately jumped into costume design, but I didn't go to school for it. I just started at the bottom and taught myself to sew, taught myself to design. I have an eye for things, and so I just went with it. So let me stop you right there, because you are so humble, and you make it sound so easy, but to say that you taught yourself design, that you taught yourself to sew, how? So it was books and so much trial and error. Sitting at the machine, seeing something I wanted to accomplish, and just figuring it out until I made it happen. And where do you get your inspiration from? Because I walked into your house, and on one wall is your amazing photography. On the other wall is your sculpture. And then there's your couture gown. And then, you know, you're working on your cosplay bounding. It's like, um, when do you sleep? <laughs> I sleep a lot. I mean, I wake up a lot in the middle of the night with my sketchbook by my side so I can draw something out. And then I go back to sleep. But I, I don't know where it comes from, but it's exhausting. I never stop coming up with ideas and I don't know how it happens, but I can always see a way to go further. For instance, with my Fantastic Beast dress in my second year, originally the whole front piece that had all the detailed beading and embroidery on it was just supposed to be an outline. It wasn't supposed to be the focus of the dress. Um, I drew it out the design and then I did outline silver embroidery on it and I went, okay, good. And then I just kept looking at it and it was bugging me. And I was like, there's more that can be done. And so I was like, well, what if I add a little bit here? What if I add a little bit there? And then it occurred to me, no, you just have to do the whole thing. And it ended up becoming the focal point. And that front piece was 250 hours just for that. The dress in total was about 400 hours. And oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, it basically became a full-time job. What inspires me most is that you are self-taught. So take us through, because so many people are watching, let's say you want to become a fashion designer, you want to sew your first dress. You're staring at the sewing machine. Where do you start? Um, I would start with learning about fabrics, um, learning about your sewing machine, because that is the first thing, is you have to get very well acquainted with that piece of machinery because you're gonna be sitting at it for endless hours and learn what different fabrics do. They all lay differently, they all stretch differently. And um, you can pick up a book, you can do tutorials on YouTube. Um, there are a lot of, you can hire someone to help you, uh, hire a private person. And it really, it all starts with just a straight stitch. 
And if you can just make a stitch that goes straight in your sewing machine, you can make anything. And you are a huge Disney fan. Where does your love of Disney come from? I've been going to the parks since I was a wee tiny little girl. The stories inspire me. They're beautiful. I love animation. I am such a nut for animation and I just think that they create some of the most beautiful works of art and, uh, and I love them. I love them so much I put one on me. <laughs> okay, I'm so glad you brought that up because this is one of the most beautiful tattoos I've ever seen and it's from Fantasia. It is. I was obsessed with Fantasia as a child and so uh, two years ago I took the original sketches from, uh, from the movie and I had them put on my arm. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. Thank it's you. so gorgeous. I'm obsessed with you, honey. <laughs> Seriously, I was already obsessed and obsession levels now appear. <laughs> oh, the feeling is mutual. <laughs> well, I have to tell you, uh, did you know that it's your unbirthday? You know, I did know it's my unbirthday, and I heard it is your unbirthday, too. Well, why, yes, it is. <laughs> so I am presenting you with an unbirthday present. What? You're not supposed to bring me the presents. I'm supposed to give you the presents. I will take the presents. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. <gasps> O-M-G. <gasps> this is so amazing. It's Alice in Wonderland. It is. And it's a skirt. Oh my gosh, okay. And I did some lovely <gasps> hand embroidery down there at the bottom for you to match the print. What? Mm. Oh my goodness. And then the embroidery to match. Did you like do this by hand? That's all hand embroidered and hand appliqued, yep. Harmony. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Oh, I'm so glad you like it. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. My pleasure. Oh my God, okay, well. My own birthday gift isn't going to live up to this, um, but... I'm very excited. I will give you your unbirthday gift in our special Tea Party Tuesday yeah. gift box. And um, I know you love Star Wars. I do. So we have a brand new uh, Princess Leia tea that we just oh launched on our site. It's so pretty! Yay! <laughs> so we thought that you would oh, like this one. Oh, Leia. And you kind of have a kind of a braided Leia do today. I do, I do. Back when I had long hair, I did Leia buns all the time. Well, if you like this Leia shirt, you can get it for 10% off if you go to heruniverse.com and use the code word, show your tattoo, Fantasia. So in honor of Harmony, um, Harmony is giving you 10% off on your Her Universe purchase today from September 12th through September 15th. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so... Harmony, I have one more super important question for you. Mm -hmm. And I ask this question to every guest that comes to my tea parties because my favorite Alice in Wonderland quote is, why sometimes I've believed in as many as six impossible things before breakfast. So, what's one impossible thing you are believing in today? Hmm, I believe that I'm gonna make it all the way home without hitting traffic. <laughs> you know what, in LA, that's a hard thing to do. It's kind of impossible. Harmony, I love your curious nature. Continue to stay curious. Cheers to our tea party. Cheers. And I hope you have a very curious day.